welcome back to Bookish Theories. In today's video, we'd like to talk about Itzy's Ring, focusing on a little breakdown of the lyrics and a music video to see what they can tell us about the story told in this comeback. Now, in this brand new Japanese release, Itzy comes through with an original retelling of Snow White, where the princess in distress takes control and becomes the hero of her own story. The title Ring, in fact, is a word that means apple, which is obviously a reference to the poisoned apple the evil queen gives Snow White to kill her. In the song, however, the apple becomes the symbol that Itzy used to prove their courage. As the girls subvert expectations and rewrite their story, they choose to eat the apple because in that way they can show their ability to change the tragic fate that was already decided for them. Tired of the old narrative about the weak princess waiting for the prince to save her, Itzy creates a new scenario where they don't need to be saved because there is nothing that can hurt them. At the beginning, for instance, the video opens with a child with his Snow White. At first the book shows the traditional version of the story. There's the evil queen in disguise giving her the apple, Snow White eating it and eventually getting poisoned. When we focus on the apple, however, which is the ring the song is talking about, the apple suddenly transforms into a sword and shield. The apple is the weapon Itzy will use to rewrite their story. It's them surviving its poison that will prove their strength, so this transformation marks the beginning of this retelling. As the camera pans to the mirror mirror on the wall, inside its reflection we see the girls inside of an armory. These are the heroines of our story, the new Snow White's getting ready for the battle to reclaim their fate. In the lyrics, we discovered that these new heroes are tired of smiling, they don't want to wear corsets anymore, they're bored of the prince and they're done with the hunter. They reject the story that was written for them in the past, so as they go on a quest to find a new plot that fits them, they leave everything behind and move on. In the video, this transformation is portrayed when we get to the magical setting of this modern fairy tale, where the scene shows two versions of Itzy side by side. On one hand, we see Itzy dressed in flowy white dresses, these are the traditional Snow Whites, they are pure, they are dainty, they smile, they wear corsets, and also dream of romance. As the transformation takes place, however, the corsets explode, and the magical forest becomes darker and full of creatures. The girls are now dressed in black leather, they have an attitude, and as they get ready for their adventure, they demand the apple to prove their worth. In the second part of the video, we see Leo with a doll, Yuna in a dollhouse, and Ryujin playing with it. This scenario is the one they're leaving behind after choosing to fight for a better destiny. In the lyrics, the girls say they play in houses, is not for them. They are not weak princesses or those to be played with, so instead of dreaming of a fairytale ending, they find a new dream that suits them better. As we see them fighting for their freedom, we also see Rujin on a white horse. Now, in Snow White, it's usually Prince Charming the one associated to the horse, but since they decided that they don't want him, now it's Rujin herself the Prince Charming of the story. After the girls break free and we see her chilling with the horse, Leah, Yeji, Yuna and Cherion find an apple tree and pick a fruit. Yeji eats the apple and survives, and in the next shot we see the girls standing among dozens of half and apples abandoned on the ground. In their scenario, Itzy not only survive a poisoned apple, they survive a whole tree of them, thus showing that they are not only fearless and brave, but also strong and invincible. Now to see what else these heroines have in store for us, for now we'll have to wait and see, but in the meantime I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please think about liking and subscribing. As always, thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see See you next time. Bye-bye.